This week on the Husky Update. The Huskies beat the Boston College Eagles to win the 2019 Bean Pot. We talked to students about what they did on this Valentine's Day. And the Museum of Science hosts the David Bowie Experience, a planetarium show in honor of the late musician. All this and more on this week's episode of the Husky Update. Your campus, your news, all the time. From the Showman Studio, here is the Husky Update. Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of the Husky Update. My name is Stephen Pepe, and here's this week's news. For a first story of the week, reporter Advika talked to students on Valentine's Day. Hi, I'm Advika Grover, and we're here to learn about people's Valentine's Day plans. So what are your thoughts on Valentine's Day? Okay, so Valentine's Day is like the Independence Day of the year. You, you, you feel like you have to celebrate your freedom one day a year, but you should be celebrating it the entire year. So if you love someone out there, you should love them the entire year, not for one stinking day where all the candy tastes like shit. Um, I, think, uh, I think it's a pretty cool day. I think everyone enjoys celebrating. Uh, my number is 516. For, I think it's a great way to celebrate. I agree with Anthony, though. You know, celebrate every day. I think if you're in a relationship, I think it's a great day to kind of hang out with your significant other. And if you're not in a relationship, you can go hang out with friends and eat a lot of chocolate and exchange roses, I don't know, give some flowers, it can be a fun day. You mean the day every year that I'm single and never have anyone? Um, it's great, uh, you know, get to eat a box of chocolates by myself in my room watching a movie. It's, it's just a time that I get to cry. It's a little overrated, honestly, um, but it's like a cool day, I guess, to like show appreciation, but I don't know, I, don't, I feel like it's just a day. Thanks, Advika. Distilled Harmony held a Valentine's Day a cappella show Thursday evening. They performed several pieces, including both covers and original compositions. The group also debuted a new single, a cover of O.G.'s Take the Money and Run, that officially dropped on Spotify later that night. The show also featured several guest performers like the Nor'easters and Harvard's Under Construction. For our next story, we take it to Saki in the studio to speak about the 2019 Bean Pot. The Bean Pot is an annual ice hockey competition between Northeastern, Boston College, Harvard, and Boston University. The competition has been going on ice since 1952. This year, during the semifinals, Boston College was able to defeat Harvard in a tense 2-1 game, while the Huskies were beating Boston University in a tense 2-1 game that went into one overtime. In the third place match, Harvard was able to decisively defeat Boston University 5-2. For the finals, the Boston College Eagles were pitted against Northeastern's Huskies. The Huskies led the entire game. The Eagles were not able to score until the third quarter when they scored two points to push the game to 3-2 in Northeastern's favor. Northeastern finished the game 4-2, claiming their second Beanpot championship in a row. This is the first time the Huskies have won the Beanpot back-to-back -back since 1985. The MVP award went to sophomore Caden Primo who saved more than 30 shots. If you'd like to learn more, be sure to check back on our YouTube channel in the next few days to watch any TV sports video. Back to you, Stephen. Now we go to reporter Emma with Rapid Fire. Thanks, Stephen. My name is Emma Toole, and this is Rapid Fire. In Campus News, the English department has acquired an 1896 printing press. The press, a Goldling Pearl 14, is open to use by students and will be part of instruction in some English classes. In national news, Amazon abruptly canceled their plans for an HQ2 in New York City after local opposition to the $3 billion in tax breaks the city offered them, along with the potential issues in gentrification and transportation proved insurmountable. In international news, young people across Europe skip school Friday to rally for action on climate change. The protests are a part of what organizers hope will be an international movement, cultivating a worldwide walkout on March 15th. That's all for Rapid Fire. Back to you, Stephen. Thanks, Emma. For our final story of the week, we sent reporter Sophie Cato to the Museum of Science to visit the David Bowie Planetarium Show. On Saturday, February 15th, the Museum of Science held the David Bowie Planetarium Experience Show. For 45 minutes, the venue was alight with celestial and otherworldly imagery, all set to a soundtrack to some of the late singer's most well-known tracks. The museum will continue to showcase planetarium shows for various musicians, such as Beyonce and Pink Floyd, through the coming months. Back to you, Stephen. Thanks, Sophie. That's the news. The rest is up to you. Be sure to like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with the Husky Update. My name is Stephen Pepe, and thank you for watching.